try to talk above the base a little bit here. Uh, obviously, a hard-fought win. Um, you know, two good football teams. I, I felt situationally that that game was going to be back and forth, third down, red area. Um, thought we did a real good job in the kicking game. Uh, you know, creating some field position. Um, there were so many different elements to the game that it's kind of running through my mind. Uh, any questions? Well, listen, you're talking about one of the top kickers. Uh, I don't think he's ever missed an extra point ever. So um, it's funny sometimes how this game is, but uh, yeah, it was a significant play. Excuse me? Thought he played well. I thought the plan going in, he executed it um, very well. There was a certain element to patience. There was a certain element to commitment to running the ball, time of possession, how we wanted to approach third down. Defensively, I thought we handled third down well. Um, we got to work on our end of half, end of game, two minute. But um, there were a lot of things that I thought we did well on the road um, that I was pleased with. So went into the uh, being aggressive. Well, look, I, there's there's a plan that you want to take, um, and it's not with reckless abandon, but it is with uh, a confidence approach. Um, I felt like we on on the fourth down call down in the red area. I felt like we had gotten the first down on the third third knee yard with Ingram's run, and we hadn't obviously and. Um, hindsight, I would have kicked a field goal there, but my mind was prepared that we had gotten the first down. I felt like uh, he had a positive gain, and yet um, I think it might have been a little longer than just third in the yard. But anyway, uh, we wanted to come in and, and, and play that way. Um, we, we didn't think it was going to be a high-scoring game, so points were going to be at a premium, and yet field position was going to be more importantly at a premium. And uh, we wanted to play as much as we could on their half of the 50. Did you have any thought towards the end of the game when Breeze sticks it over for the first down of kicking the field goal there? I mean, it was still five minutes or so left in the game. Um, <clears throat> those half yards, those third and a half yard, or fourth and a half yards are are, uh, are tough for me to concede. <laughs> um, no, that's honest, honest to the truth. I mean, it, it's just tough for me to, you know, and Drew's been successful at that, um, you know, we knew we'd get a heavy front. Those guys are stout. Um, you know, we always remind the side judge right there, just watch the ball here. And, and you know, he, he got a good spot right away. You know, he's able to see the, if you're talking about six inches. But, yeah, all of that's running through your mind. Um, even when they commit the personal foul, you know, you're constantly thinking about more points. And, you know, that's a yard. It goes from, if you, if you take a penalty like that, it goes from the two to the one, you know. So, all of that goes through my mind, and sometimes too much. Sean, the, the fact that you know you've been with him for so long, he sets the yardage mark. <clears throat> you know, he gets his 500 today. Standing on the sideline, what's that like to watch? Um. Well, I, honestly, like, uh, the last game we played, there was so much that you know going into that that um, that this. I, I think, and in, in, look, it's a significant benchmark, and in, in yet you're just you're in the middle of the game, though, and so you, you're not really paying attention to it. Um, I think more importantly, it, it's the, the final team he needed to beat, you know, in his career, and we hadn't beaten him together, you know, just in the the time we've been here. John's done a great job. That, that team has been a a real salty team and a tough team, and, and they've been a hard hard team to beat. So uh, I think he would probably, if you asked him, um, value that as much. Um, how would I explain it? Like, what do you mean? Oh, well, um, at that point, disappointed, upset, you know, um, Win was a, a little bit of a factor to start, and I like the fact that I don't know how how much time elapsed on that, but I felt like look time is 
possession, you know, was a key number for us in this game. We talked about it, you know, and uh, it's something that they've done very well. If you looked at their games, they've really done a good job playing complimentary football, and uh, and we were able to get that tonight. I thought the third down plan, you know, going to the line of scrimmage right away, it's some sometimes to slow up some of the pressures they have. Um, you know, Ben Watson converted. A few, I mean, we just there were a lot of different plays, but obviously there's an up and down emotion to a 20 play drive, and my final emotion would be like disappointment, frustration, you know, all of the above. Yeah, I think we've, listen, we've always been able to play from behind. Um, we, we played well on the road. Um, yeah, this would be one of our better road wins. And yet, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll watch the tape tomorrow and feel like it shouldn't have come down to a missed extra point. And that's just how we are typically as coaches and, you know, in evaluating uh, the game. But it was a good win. Um, it was a good win. Talked earlier about the mental toughness, I guess, to play a team like this on the road. I mean, how tough they are. Yeah. Uh, coming down on the road, what was the plan as far as well? We were gonna, we weren't gonna go through what we just saw last week in Tennessee. I know that was the plan. We weren't gonna drop back and get sacked 11 times. No, I'm, I'm just saying we were, we were gonna be smart with the running game. You know, when you look at teams that are, you know, we. You have to feel like three and a half yards sometimes is a, is a good play. And I thought, I don't know what our, I know what our totals were, but clearly, you know, we had a lot of rushing attempts. We won the, the rushing battle and we thought that was important. I thought we ran the ball good against that front. Very good. Sean, is, is composure something you learn about your team as the season goes on? The, the judge question about being down 10 on the road? I mean, is that um, like yeah, I, I'm sure that's, you know, one thing. Uh, I mean, you know, I think you you build that throughout the course of the season, and it's it's generally done, you know, with demonstrated achievements, you know, games and series, and, and you begin to play the next one a little bit better, and um, hopefully we can. Hold on one second. <laughs> Thank you. Was this one of Drew Brees' most physically punishing games? I would say there's an old saying: it doesn't have to be aesthetically pleasing to be effective. And I think he was spot on today in a lot of areas. Boy, the way we had a lot of different nuances into this plan, I can't tell you. I mean, just the hours and, and lack of sleep. And, and for I mean, it was spot on with, uh, with how we went about the execution and, and having to deal with mixed substitution. There were a lot of different personnel groupings and a lot of things that we thought were going to be important. And... Man, uh, he got us into the right play. We had a few run looks that were tough, got us out of the wrong play, and the tempo was good. You know, we had one delay, um, but it was uh, it was a, a real good game by him. I just wonder if he took more hits today than you know. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did, and uh, and yet, um, man, I thought we we did a good job overall blocking him. You know, we let Suggs loose once on a on a long play action. That was on me probably. And um, you know, we had an early pressure. We tried to create tempo with the passing game though, so to offset some of their pressures, and uh, it was good enough. Sean, you talked about Justin Tucker and how good he is, how good he's been. Yeah, absolutely. Do you believe in to have a special season? Of course, you need skill, you need to play well, but you need breaks sometimes. Do you believe in that? Well, the whole. The whole game of football is like, holy cow, you know. So it's a series, but I, I, you create those, you create those opportunities, you know. Um, I think if you went and came into that game and watched it, and, and and you looked at the stat line, and you'd say, hey, we deserve to win that game. At least the one I watched. Was there a the way Drew can avoid sacks like that in that big third down? Yeah, he's got really. It was a heck of a play he made. Uh, you know, it's a heck of a play he made. It was an unblocked, you know, rusher. Um, he's got exceptional feet. He's a real good foot athlete. And, uh, yeah, I would say there, that's, that's something that served him very well. And, and a big part of his athleticism is that adjustment, that ability to slide a little bit. What about taste? Like, do you think the ring was in for him today? Or 
We did. You know, the one, the, the very first wrink, wrinkle, though, was kind of a lead balloon. You know, it was that little option play. Our phasing wasn't good. But uh, he made some big plays. You know, he had a, a toss. You know, he kept the ball. I mean, look, he, he, he does so many different things that um, he's a football player. You know, he's a football player. When, when his game's over with, if it's a grass field, it's dirty. Yeah, played well. Yes. Yeah, we'll keep you updated on Wednesday. I would never comment on it. Yeah, I mean, it's something I think will be healthy. Obviously, it wasn't. Um, it, it, he, was, he was doing well. So, yes, to answer your question. Cameron Tom, essentially your third, third guard. Both teams, listen, you know, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. John had the same issues. You know, they had two linemen out. We had two out. And, and so no one, no one really is interested in who these other jersey numbers are. You know, we just got to think about what we're calling and what we're doing when they're in there. And I thought those guys, Baltimore did that, did a very good job of that. And I thought we had to do that as well. Um, you know, uh, Rebus has been a you know, real good steady. Uh, player force, and I think Andrews fortunately will be back next week. So, but that was one of those unique games going into it, where you know you're looking closely at linemen six and seven, and you know linemen seven for us tonight wasn't on the roster, you know, four days ago. On the play, the, the last touchdown to Brown. The to who? Uh, the yeah, cover two, and we let a guy up in the hole, and it's bad football. All right, thank you guys.